Hello, today I'm going to show you how I modified my mouse by adding a wireless charging receiver and how I put a wireless charger inside my desk so I can use these two things combined and charge my mouse simply by leaving it on top, on the desk. My mouse is a Logitech G900, a pretty good mouse that has always been very reliable for me. Uh, uh, it's a mouse that can be used wired or wireless. I wanted to use it wirelessly, but didn't want to charge it occasionally. I considered making a charging dock, but wasn't convinced. So I decided to make a wireless charging system. So I just leave it on the desk and it charges itself. The first thing we need is this. This is a wireless charging receiver. It's used to put it on phones that don't have factory wireless charging. It's super thin since it's made to fit inside the phone case itself. What I did was disassemble it by removing the protective sticker. Inside we can see that it's a flat coil and a chip that controls the charging and discharging. Now we had to put this inside the mouse. I disassembled the mouse, which is just removing the screws from the bottom, and started to see where the coil would fit in. To make it more compact, I cut the metallic paper from the back to the exact size of the coil and found this place to put it. This is where the mouse's on and off button is located. It's a useful button, but honestly in about 5 years that I've had the mouse, I've never used it, so I had no problem removing it. With pliers, I cut all the little pieces of plastic to make it flat and to be able to place the coil as close to the plastic as possible. The closer, the more efficient the charge will be. And that's it. We can put the coil in its place and stick it with any glue. I unsoldered the controller from the coil and found a place at the front of the mouse where it fit perfectly. This also helped me allowed me to use the same micro USB port that the charging receiver had, which is super thin, so I could simply take it out of the mouse where I had the opening of the charging pin and connect it directly. In this way, I wouldn't have to modify anything from the internal circuits of the mouse. Now, since I had placed the charging controller chip far away, I simply used two wires to connect it to the coil. These don't have an order and this way I could bring the energy from the coil to the chip and then to the mouse. I ran the wires through a little side of the mouse there without touching anything. I closed up the entire mouse again and tested it with a wireless charger. And that's it, our mouse now supports wireless charging. Since I had it disassembled, I bought some glides or pads for it. So it would also slide better since the ones it had were very worn out. But of course, the wireless charger still has a cable and it looked just as ugly as if the mouse had a cable. So, I did the following. First, I disassembled the wireless charger. I bought a 10 watt one, so it had a good charging power. And when we disassemble it, we are going to find something similar to what the receiver had. A coil with a charging controller chip. In this case, obviously the chip is larger. Uh, on, uh, I wanted to embed it inside my desk so that it wouldn't be seen or leave any cables inside. So what I did first was mark the place where I wanted it and I made a small hole in the wood. This is not necessary, but since I was going to stick a sticker on it later, it wouldn't be seen. And it helped me to center it well where I wanted it. From the underside of the wood using a router, I started to carve into the wood. If you don't have a router, you can use a drill with a wood bit. But be careful not to go through to the other side. Put some stop to it. We must carve enough so that the charging coil fits in the hole. Remember that the charging coil must be less than 8 mm from the receiving coil, so keep this in mind because if not, it will not work for you. And as you can see, I didn't do it in a neat way at all. Since it was something that was not going to be seen, I didn't pay much attention to it, but well, that's up to each one. So once we had the carving done, I put the coil there and also glued it with another adhesive. You can screw it if you want or grab it in any way you wish. To conceal the charging chip and other components, I 3D printed a cover and screwed it onto the bottom, hiding the entire system from view. And that's it, we connect the wireless charger with a USB to wherever we want. I connected it to an extension cord that I had nearby with USB. On the top side, I stuck a sticker to know exactly where on the desk it was. And now simply by placing the mouse in that spot, it will start to charge. Uh, obviously, this also works with cell phones or anything that accepts wireless charging. Another option is to place it right under the mouse pad. This way, literally, while we use the mouse, 
we would be charging it. But I didn't do it since I also like to charge my phone. And besides, my mouse's battery lasts almost a week. 